Okay, in this video we are going to be learning about Blackboard Collaborate. Now, one of the first things you need to know is they'll show you right here and the rest of the people over here. I don't have anybody else in the room at the moment. But it will but if you're in with one more than with more than one person, you'll have a bunch. So, they will be, here are the emoticons, there's a smiley face, faster, if the person is going too fast, it's usually a teaching type room, so, faster if the person is going too slow, or slower if they're going too fast and you need time to think, approval and disapproval for if you approve and disapprove. Confusion if you are confused, obviously. So there's the emoticons. And then there is a way. So it'll say, you click this button and it'll show you as a way so the person in charge knows not to call on you to answer a question. There, we'll click that again. And so then there's raising hand. It's just like in a normal classroom. The, the person in charge or the moderator will hear a little beep when you raise your hand and so then they will look down the list and of participants and see who raised their hand and then they'll call on you and then here is the poll you can put yes or no at the moment you can also change that to A through E multiple choice and here you'll see that so I'll click on a smiley face too so you can see yeah a little smiley face alright and then you can clear the things and if you're a moderator you can see all the poll which is really nice and then you can clear all of it so that's that and then you can Talk into the mic by clicking this button. Talk to the other people in the classroom. And that shows you how much you sound. And then you can put yourself on video on camera right here. And f look at yourself. So preview the video. So you, just so you can see how other people see you. And then right here it shows your privileges, what you can do. At the moment I can do everything because I'm a moderator. Here is the whiteboard, what you can do on the whiteboard. So you can put a little thing right there and have it show a pointer. And there's all sorts of different types of pointers. You can look all over. And then here's high or pen. You can do that. Or you can switch it by using this little arrow right at the bottom and switch it to a highlighter. And I'll get more each time, so that's pretty cool. And then there's a text box. Oops. And you can make your text bigger change the color on pen or anything by going like that and everybody can see that and then there's another type of text without a text box you just text box you just do that and then I'll show it while you're in the while it's in the box they can't see it but once you click out of it then they can and then draw a circle or a square or a rectangle whatever. and then a filled one so it's filled color and then there's this one just the outline and then straight line and then a screen capture and clip art Oh, there's all sorts of different things. P 
periodic table of elements. And that's the background at the moment, so I'll make a new page. Just so you don't have to see that. And then while you're moderator, you have the option to make a new page, delete the page, everything, all the foreground stuff, fit page to size, whatever you want to do, go between pages, Go between pages this way. You have your own little work area sometimes. This button's a follow. You can uncheck that so people can go wherever they want. And the and it doesn't have to be the same screen as the moderator's on. And you can click that again and everybody will return to the same screen that you were on. And then you can leave everybody on that page by going. They'll still be on that page, but you can go to this page and look at this while they are looking at this page helpful and then here is session information connection speed all that and you can start a timer so you can put the name And then you can put hours, minutes, or seconds. And then you can have a message alert right here. It'll come up. And play a sound. And then you can count up from zero if you want. Show to everybody or show to moderators only. There's the timer. There's the noise and the message. And then you can load content. So you click on this button get it from wherever you want it and then there's this way you can load it transfer you can transfer files loading it to everybody in the thing everybody will get a message that's right in the middle of the screen that says uh, I am in being and would like to send you a um send you a uh, a file and it'll say Patrick Henry or whatever you're using and you can load a PowerPoint presentation and that won't show the file transfer usually sometimes it does anyway but it shouldn't normally I wonder if I still have that okay I don't but anyway yeah, you can load a presentation and it'll just put it on the slides. So that's that. And then here's the chat box. Say hello. And you can chat to everyone else in the room. And you can do a private chat right here. If there's anybody else, if there's other people, you can, or if they are other people, then, and you are a moderator, you can take away their things. Like, look, I took away my whiteboard privileges, so now I can't do anything on the whiteboard. I'll give them back again. Now there. And then here's a private chat just for the moderators. And then you can make more by going right here. And if it's not, and you can only do it when it's another person. Right about here, because because on a when you're not a moderator, all it'll show is in this area right here so it'll say send private message and so you'll click on that and it normally you can just see a little it'll just say it won't even say anything it'll just be total screen and then if you send private message it'll bring up a little box like this that says sending private message to whoever you're sending it to and you can click on that and type to them and then it'll show a little quote right there a quote mark when they type to you and there's the audio set up to make sure everybody can hear you right do you can by clicking that button you can choose which microphone you want 
internal or USB or whatever you're using. And then you can hear the speaker. And Welcome it'll... to the Audio Setup Wizard. And I'll say, Welcome to the Audio Setup Wizard. This wizard will help you set up your audio so it'll be able to hear you or something like that. So, And then you can choose your what other people will hear. So I'm using a built in input right now. You can have a USB or some other thing. And then click OK, record, and you can hear yourself. And stop. Record, and you can hear yourself. So record that. You can record something and then play it to see what other people can or hear what other people can hear. Oh yeah, oops. And then on the other one, you can hit yes, no if you were able to hear yourself or not. And if you hit no, then you can try again or you can just hit cancel, depending on what you want. And then you'll see this. You can make the video follow speaker. So if there's a bunch of videos on that whoever's talking at the moment the video will turn on them or if they don't have a video on then all all you'll see is a little I'm not sure if it'll show it if I go like this yeah it'll either show their picture if they have one or it'll show their little person like yeah just a little symbol and it'll say their name right there so, or you can make it so it doesn't follow speaker and then that way you can click on a person if there's other people and I could show you but if so you can click on a person on a person's video and it'll show them right here instead of down here in little things so you can use a lot of things with video all these and I'm pretty sure I've showed pretty much everything. Oh yeah, application sharing. You can click on what you want to show to everybody out of your thing, and whatever you click on, it'll show that. And then web tour, you can go like this. Enter the URL, and it'll go to the website you entered. right there alright and I think I showed you pretty much everything so I hope you liked the video hope it's, hopefully it's helpful